How often does uh, Coach Kennedy talk to you about blocking? Um, a lot. Cause that's that's what you got to do to be a receiver. You got to be able to block for the running backs because that's where all the explosive plays happen. Do you get sick of that? Do I get sick? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm no, I don't get sick of blocking. <laughs> Physically, you look much different than you did last year. Do uh, you feel that? You mean you look way stronger? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I don't mean to. <laughs> last year you were picking too, but you yeah, but of bigger. course, Coach Doyle pushes us yeah. extremely hard, and I expected that out of him when I was being recruited by him. So mm -hmm. yeah, I expect to get stronger and bigger and faster. This winter, did you? You, have, you probably have one of the bigger opportunities in the team as far as playing and getting out there. Did you use that as motivation this winter? Uh, of course. That's always in the back of my head, is just being able to know that I have a chance to get on the field even more than I did last year. So you talked to Devon at all? Because it looks like you're kind of ahead of his role. Yeah, I talked to Devon a lot. And we talk, like, we talk probably like every night yeah. about what I have to do and also what he has to do in the NFL. Right, right. What's he, what are some of his tips? Some of his tips split is, uh, is just block. That's what he just tells me that block. Mm -hmm. Make sure I know my assignment and just block. Mm -hmm. Who's the fastest guy at wide receiver? The fastest guy at wide receiver? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say me because I, I will compete in front uh, to anybody, but I got to go with Main Wagwa. Yeah, he, he's a big track guy too. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Who's, who's going to be that? kind of take the top off the coverage guy. It seems like you guys might need one of those. And, and are you, are you, when you say talk, take the top off the yeah, coverage. Yeah, kind of go like, blow past everybody. Um, Down the field. We have we have a lot of a lot of those. Uh, Matt Vandenberg, Riley McCarron, me, Jay Shield. It's, yeah, we have a lot. What did you take out of last year? I mean, what did you learn most from last year? I mean, you didn't get probably on the field as much as you would have liked, but you got a chance. Um, one thing that I learned last year is that uh, you got to locate the ball. You got to get your head around, get your hands up, and just locate the ball. And make sure you get the ball first, ball first before anything. You talked about blocking. Is that something that comes with reps and with time to, to you know, learn the technical spark? I mean, you got to be willing, but technically sound as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we have we have drills that we go through, okay. blocking drills see. to get our um, feet underneath yeah. us, our hands up, and just get our head back. So, yeah. Are you glad you played last year, even though you didn't get on? You know. Oh yeah, I'm grateful that I was in a position to show at least show what I have, at least show what I can bring to the club. So, yeah. You feel like it was a productive year for yes, you? It was. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, how how's the uh, social transition going from Texas to Iowa? Um, it's really not a big difference, knowing that I'm in college now and I get, I see more and more people get to meet new people back at home. It's just I've seen the same, exact same people, but now I'm getting to meet new more people. So. And everybody in Iowa is, is pretty much friendly. So. <laughs> it looks like you're going to have more Texans coming up here soon. Yeah. Too. Um, and, and then you and Jay, are you, you guys are kind of, are you yeah. guys competing for kind of the same spot? And yeah, do you guys kind of help each other yeah, and we, work we, off each we other? Push we push each other every day. We, we learn off each other. If somebody, like, if I run something bad, he corrects me on it. If he runs something bad, I correct him on it. That's what teammates do. We just correct each other on it and just learn from it. What's it like with a healthy CJ? I keep, I keep getting this question. Uh, really? Yeah, so. <laughs> See, I thought I was being original. <laughs> <laughs> nah, CJ, CJ is a, a raw athlete. Even when he was hurt, he still made incredible plays. So having a healthy CJ now is it's amazing. When you first got out there last year, were there nerves? I mean, those are big crowds. I know you. I know Texas. There, there was there was nerves, but I knew I had to get my job done because if I wouldn't get my job done, they were calling somebody else to get it done. So. What was the Illinois game like? That obviously was, uh, at least from a statistical standpoint, was the highlight. It was crazy because just, I've never played in front of that many people, and just to go out there and do, like I said, do my job and do it well. It's really like it's amazing. it's amazing. And Vandenberg stuck up for you on the pass at Indiana that hit you in the back. Yeah. <laughs> he said that yeah. that was a. Yeah, sometimes uh, when we see things, they may not always be as they appear. Yeah. So you're taught to to run a certain distance and then turn. Yeah, we we're taught to run for 20 and then get our head around just so we can drive more. And, uh, Credit to Matt for taking up for me on that. So. Thanks.